Here is a quick tutorial for the FR Sky 2.4 GHz ACCST RXSR version 1.0. For whatever reason, this won't bind with your Tyrannus QX7 ACCST. I guess it's because it's older or something, whatever. So you have to update the firmware on this little receiver. Also, if you haven't already, update your OpenTX companion so you can update your firmware and all that on your Tyrannus. Okay. All right. This is my first tutorial video. It took me hours trying to figure this out. And uh, I'm just going to make this straightforward. So this is for the FR Sky RXSR firmware update. Now, this is for your Tyrannus, Tyrannus QX7, the ACCST version, all right? So what you want to do is update this because you won't be able to bind it to your transmitter. All right, so what you want to do is take your micro SD card out of your Tyrannus QX7 ACCST. Go ahead and stick it into a SD card reader. Plug it back in, make sure it's all good. Now go to frsky-rc.com slash r-xsr slash whatever. All right. Let's get this out of here. Now you want to go to this here, ACCST D16 firmware. Come down. Ignore this crap here and go to this history firmware download. Not compatible with v2.x.x, right? Download, downloading file, downloaded, right? Open, open the folder. Now what you need is this one right here. RXSR, FCC, blah, 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 191112.frk, copy, now go to your SD card, drop into firmware, and then paste, see I already did it, it's right there, boom, now let's go ahead and flash the receiver. Okay, so I'm gonna put the SD card back into my Tyrannus QX7, the A CCST. Boom. Turn it on. Right. Welcome back. Are you ready to rip? Throttle you need warning. This to flash it. And you plug it into your receiver. All right, so this pigtail here comes with your receiver when you buy it, brand new. Plug it in, plug it in to your Tyrannus on the bottom, the QX7 version. All right, now you hold this button down, hit page, go to firmware, select enter, Hold enter on FCC, ACT, blah, 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 flash S port. Writing. Now it's going to take a second. Okay, so I probably sped up the video, which I should have, and it's done. Flash successful. Hit OK. Boom. Done. Take this damn thing out. Let's exit out. Take it out. And then plug it in to your quad so you can bind it to your transmitter. All right? So I'll do that real quick. So right now I need to get into bind mode. Hit that. Hit page. I like to scroll up. Make sure that. 
D16, XG7, channel 1 through 8 I'm using. Hit mine. Hit on. Hear that? All right, cool. Receiver's plugged into your quad. Now remember, you gotta hold this little tiny button in right there as you plug in your LiPo for it to bind, right? Okay, this is ridiculous. All right, hold that button in. Plug in your freaking LiPo. going and it should look like this green light is on red light is flashing blue light is on that means you are binded or bound binded you're bound all right now i guess you can unplug it whatever turn this annoying thing off done right plug it back in to check to see if it's valid. Telemetry lost. That's Telemetry it. recovered. Boom, worked. Telemetry Green. lost. Now you get this annoying Telemetry thing going on. Recovered. Don't care about it right now. But that's how you do it. I spent hours doing this last night. I was up all night till like four or five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, driving me nuts. But that's how you do it. A quick tutorial. Hope it helps. Peace.